Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Bookmarklets are still awesome. I mean, I remember the first time I saw a bookmarklet and realized how it worked. It's essentially a JavaScript that you save in your browser's bookmarks bar or favorites bar. And then when you're on a web page, you can press this bookmarklet and something will happen, whatever the bookmarklet was designed to do, this JavaScript. And, um, you know, I've collected a variety of bookmarklets over the years. I have a few. Don't really use them so much anymore because I used to use Internet Explorer and then, of course, I, I switched to using Safari. So some of the bookmarks that I made, the bookmarklets that I made, are, are no longer uh, useful because certain bookmarklets will only work in certain browsers and you kind of have to watch for compatibility. Well, the reason why I'm bringing this up now is because, one, bookmarklets are awesome. And anytime you see the opportunity to install a bookmarklet, you should. Uh, if, especially if you trust the source, um, only if you trust the source. And I do trust the source here of this bookmarklet, the readability bookmarklet, and I'll demonstrate it as well. Uh, you can find this at lab.arc90.com as typed out there by Uncle John. Really appreciate that. I'm talking, of course, to the chatters there at live.perillo.com. Navigate through to read about the readability project. You'll be taken to this page. And it says, readability is a simple tool that makes reading on the web more enjoyable by removing the clutter around what you're reading. Follow the steps below to install readability in your web browser. So first you configure it. Let me zoom in here and show you. You can choose your style, newspaper, novel, ebook, terminal, the size of the text, the margin of the page, and then that's pretty much it. So as I uh, have shown you those options, I can choose like say novel, that'll change the colors, ebook will change the font a bit, I can go extra large text, extra wide, let's go with a narrow margin, so now that's what it would look like, of course you can't really see it, here, I'll zoom in, there, that is what that option would look like, if I zoom out and change it to medium, let's see, ebook, and zoom in, it would look like that, so you can configure it to your, to your liking. Now, so where does this come in handy? Well, if you are on any web page that is just annoying you because it wasn't designed very well at all, you can, after you've installed this bookmarklet, simply by dragging and dropping this link into your bookmarks bar, and this is exactly what I've done up here. I've just named it Readability. That's the bookmarklet. I hover over it and it says JavaScript, blah, 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 blah. I'm actually going to use that bookmarklet on one of my web pages. So yes, this is my web page as you see it. I'm like, okay, this is great. It's video. You want to watch video? See, that's a nice thing. And there's the text and read down. Oh, there's some links, some helpful links. Oh, there's the comments. Great. I've got a lot of options here. But if all I want to read is the content here uh, related to sleepwalking, this was with the post on sleepwalking, on this page, I am going to click the readability button. So we're going to watch this on this page. This page is going to change. The URL is going to stay the same. I'm just going to click readability. And in a second, look at the page. It changed completely. URL didn't change. Same domain, same ad web address. It's just the JavaScript removed everything I didn't need to see. Just the content and the links. That was it. Took out everything but the primary text for that web page. Use it anywhere. My recommendation, use it on myspace.com. I'm just saying, usually not the best designed web pages on the planet. If all you want to do is read the text on any web page, install this bookmarklet free. It's really nothing to install. You just drag and drop a link into your bookmarks bar. It's there forever. When you want to read content and nothing but the content, an amazing bookmarklet doesn't cost you a thing. All you have to do is just drag and drop it up. Well, choose your design options, the one that you would you know, like the most, and I chose this for myself. I don't know what you're waiting for. You've got the URL right there, lab.arc90.com. Uh, uh, Brian apparently has created a simple readability command for Ubiquity. Okay, very nice. So if you use the Ubiquity plugin for Firefox, it makes it even easier. Really appreciate that. I appreciate finding the stuff like this. I appreciate it even more... When you tell me about stuff like this, because then I get it, look and possibly share it with the rest of the community. My email address, chris at Uh Yes, you could use this on my blog if you wanted to, but you know I also embed the videos. You can't really watch the videos, so you got to make a decision. You know, either watch the video that you like watching the video or just reading the text. Up to you.
completely up to you. <clears throat> you can also join us in geeks.perillo.com. You can try readability over there as well. I mean, we try to keep the design pretty clean. We try to keep it uh, unobtrusive, get you to the, the, the meat of whatever happens to be on that particular page. And then, of course, there's uh, uh, you know, twitter.com slash chrisperillo. Don't really need to use readability there. There's really not much going on on Twitter, you know, in terms of a lot of extra stuff other than simple text. It's just text to begin with. I mean, you could use readability there, but it's kind of pointless. And then, of course, uh, there is the chat room. You can't use readability there because it's IRC. And uh, unfortunately, if we cut out, you know, 90% of the crap, there'd be nothing left. Not to say that nothing useful happens, but, uh, okay, so we are saying that. <clears throat> if, you, uh, if you're a technologist like the rest of us, you're more than welcome to join us. We're typically talking about it. Hardware, software, you name it. It's related to tech. We're probably talking about it right now. 